Hello everyone. At the end of this video, you should be able to explain the differences between boiling and evaporation. You have learned what boiling is in video 2 and 3. But what about evaporation? Wet clothes hung out in the sun will dry after some time. So, where does the water on the wet clothes go? We say that the water has been evaporated. Water has been turned into water vapor without boiling. So, although both boiling and evaporation turn substances from their liquid state to their gaseous state, they are actually two different processes. There is one obvious difference between boiling and evaporation that you might have noticed. Boiling water is at 100 degrees Celsius and anyone in the right mind would not want to touch it. But you can put your hands on the clothes under the sun without getting hurt because the water on the clothes is not at 100 degrees Celsius. There are other differences between boiling and evaporation. But before I talk about that, let me first describe how evaporation occurs. Particles in a liquid, such as alcohol, are in continuous random motion, and they have different speeds. At the surface, some of the liquid particles have enough energy to overcome the intermolecular attractive forces and atmospheric pressure. Thus, they escape into the atmosphere. Less energetic particles are then left behind. As a result, average random kinetic energy of the particles decreases and the temperature of the liquid decreases. In other words, evaporation causes the temperature of the liquid to drop and brings about a cooling effect on the liquid. So, what are the differences between boiling and evaporation? Boiling occurs at boiling point, but evaporation can occur at any temperature, even at temperatures below the boiling point of the liquid. Boiling is a relatively faster process than evaporation. Boiling takes place throughout the liquid, but evaporation takes place only at the liquid surface where the liquid particles with enough energy can escape. Particles, bubbles are formed at, in the liquid during boiling, but no bubbles are formed at the liquid during evaporation. During boiling, the part the temperature of the liquid remains at boiling point, but during evaporation, the temperature of the liquid may decrease due to the cooling effect of evaporation. Lastly, for boiling to occur, we usually need an external term thermal energy source, such as the Bunsen burner. On the other hand, the thermal energy required for evaporation to occur is obtained from the surrounding. Before we end, please look at the learning objective again and ask yourself whether you have achieved it. Goodbye and see you next time.